Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my Unity 3D tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we're going to take a look at creating um, fracturable uh, objects inside of Unity 3D. And I did these uh, videos a few days ago, so basically that's what we're going to do. Now, coincidentally, there is someone else who also has a very similar tutorial series. In fact, it's the only, I guess major difference maybe between these two videos is the fact that mine is a big summary I suppose I had no idea someone sent me a link and I was like awesome it's always nice when people have uh, similar ideas so uh, I decided to link his so you can go watch his as well and give him some awesome props for uh, uh, making those videos um, a couple months ago okay so um, well, first off, let's set up our scene. So we're going to create a new game object, create other cube. And we're going to put it at 0, 0, 0, and we're going to set its size to 20, 20. Uh, sorry, 0 0.1, 20, 20. My bad. OK. And then we're going to add a directional light. And I'm going to set shadows to soft. And then I'm going to save and eh, just you know, I'll just create a folder. It's fine. Scenes. And we'll call this scene one. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so now we need to make our script. Because it's very important we make our script next. Whoops. Sorry. So I'm going to go to my scripts folder. And I'm going to create a new c -sharp script. And i just call this destruction. And then we'll double click it. And then we'll wait for mono develop to do its thing. Which might not take long. Awesome, and we're going to get rid of all this because we don't need it. So what do we need to do? Well, first off, we're only creating um, a very simple simple script where basically we're going to click the object and then we're going to replace it with the other destroyed object. Now there's a lot of different things you can do. You could, you could give it uh, hit points and every time it's clicked, you know, it slowly... Uh, it slowly ticks down and then it gets destroyed. Or you could do it so it's force based per uh, fractured object. You know, you could do something crazy like that. Um, but that would require something completely different. Uh, but, th but this is a nice foundation for moving onwards to those things. So first thing is we need to create a public game object variable and just call this debris or uh, destruction piece, you know, you can call it whatever. I'll call it my destruction piece. I kind of like that. And basically this is going to be uh, usable inside of the inspector over here. And it'll allow us to just drag and drop whatever we want. So, without further ado, uh, let's create a new function called on mouse down. And then we are going to, first we are going to destroy we are going to destroy our game object. So basically what we're doing right here is uh, when the mouse is hit, we're going to destroy our other one. Because remember, we don't want them both. Uh, you know, we don't want both of them just to stay in the scene. So we need to get rid of our first one first. And then we are going to instantiate. And we need to use our destruction piece. And we want to put it at the same transform position and rotation. Okay, and there should be no errors. All right, so that's all we need to do. So basically, like I said, uh, when we click our object, we're going to create our destroyed destruction piece, and then we are going to destroy this object. Okay, so we're done, and Unity Script's going to compile it all for us. And now we're going to switch back over to Blender, and I'm going to delete these. And we're going to go to User Preferences, and straight to Add-ons. And we're going to type fracture, and you want to turn on cell fracture or uh, fracture tools. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to use this as our default cube. Now, if you want to, you can go into edit mode, and you could unwrap it and give it a texture and all that. But I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is, actually, you know what? I will. Why not? I'll give it all unwrap it. Very simple unwrap. And I'll do a save as, and uh, ah, models. Cool. They went straight to my folder. And we're going to call this cube underscore base dot blend. And then we're going to save it. And we're going to go back over to Unity. And we're going to go back to Models. And 
we are going to calculate the normals. And just because I hate it, I don't know why it does this by default, but we are going to get rid of all the animation settings. And now we have our basic cube, as we can see right there. That's really cool. We're going to get rid of that now. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go back to Blender, hit Tab, go into Object Mode, then go down here, select the face, and we'll just, actually, you know what, I want to try something. I know it's a tutorial, but I just, I want to try something. Cell Fracture, 2 Recursion, 1, and we're going to hit OK. Awesome. So it tells you what I thought it was going to do. That's very cool. Though I think I did the recursion a little bit too much. So let's go over here. Ah, that's that's really cool looking. You know though the recursion, while it does add some extra stuff, it really it really does make it kind of uneven, but I, I guess that's gonna be okay. Okay, so we are going to get rid of this cube. Always Ah, it did it automatically for me, isn't that nice? Okay, so nothing's left there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a save as. And we're going to do cube underscore destroyed. And we're going to save it. Then we're going to go back to Blender. Uh, sorry, sorry, Unity. And we're going to wait for it. Because, you know, it's, it's going to take a minute to get this going. All right. So we're going to do our usual calculate. But this time we're also going to generate colliders. <sighs> Come on. You can do it. Ah, awesome. And then we're going to get rid of the animations because I can't stand those. I'm going to actually need to do this bit, but now yeah, I'm pausing. But I'm sorry, I, I get so annoyed when it uh, when it does that. Okay, so here is our destroyed cube. And we're going to make sure to set it at 0, 0, 0. And we are going to scroll down here and... We need to turn on convex for all of these because they are actually all enclosed so we want to make sure it's a convex collider and then we want to go to game objects other and rigid body why oops sorry component physics rigid body i don't know why i was over there but i was so now each one of these has a rigid body and is set to convex and we'll move our camera Select our camera. I'm going to set the color to black. And we'll move it right here. Now if it doesn't crash on me like it did last time. There we go. So that's what we have. Uh, nothing fancy, but it fell and it broke and you can see all the little chunks. And with our main camera selected, we're going to go on ahead and add our drag rigid body. This script is found. If you don't have it or want to get it, import package, basic scripts. And basically now we can we can click here and we can... We can move our lovely rigid body around. Wow, actually that broke into some rather big pieces. Okay. And we're going to unplay. And we are going to create a prefab. We're going to call this prefab underscore cube destroyed. And we're going to make sure that Hmm. I find it very strange that it actually reads that as 000, but that's fine, whatever. Alright, and we'll get rid of this. And now we have our prefab. Preset up for us with everything ready to go. Now we need to make another one for our first one. And we'll call this prefab underscore cube base. And we'll just drag and drop this over. And we'll make sure we'll set let's set this one to 000, 000 as well. And we're going to give this one a box collider. And just for the heck of it, we're going to give it a rigid body. And we're also going to give it our script. Which did not apply. There it goes. All right. And we'll apply that. So one of the things we need to do is we need to give it our destruction object. Because obviously, if we do it right now, I click... Uh, ah, here we go, right down here in the console. It's complaining and whining that nothing can be found. So it's killing the uh, script. So, 
what we need to do instead is go to our models, find our destroy prefab, put it on here. Then we'll go to game and our cube will fall and we'll click. And it got destroyed and it went over there, which is really odd. I have no idea why I did that. We'll hit apply. Probably has something to do with the uh, the offset, I believe. Yes, it does. Well, uh, sorry. Um, it has something to do with uh, each of these individual. Ah, there you go. So you could go through and uh, reset each and every single one of these. Actually, you know what, for the sake of uh, fixing this before the tutorial, I'm going to pause this real quick. Okay, I'm not particularly 100% sure why it's doing that or why it's airing out on me. Uh, it wasn't, hasn't actually ever done that before. Um, but there you go, and as you can see, we can drag our, each of these is one individual body, even the tiniest one. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there'll be another one following this, which will actually cover like forces on uh, rigid bodies and how to break the fractures. But this was just uh, a simple one to kind of like introduce to how to make it. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this, like I said. And uh, don't be afraid. Uh, follow me. Uh, give me comments. Uh, request more tutorials, stuff like that. And I'm also holding a fundraiser. Uh, to be able to do these tutorials a bit more full time so please uh, just check the description and you know if you'd like if you feel like it you know just go on ahead and uh, donate to it and once I hit my goal I'm going to uh, really hammer out an, a crap load of high quality tutorials but for now these will do okay so uh, thank you again for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one and I hope you guys enjoyed